how much how much is too much in in regard to training for a fight like this like maybe training for a three round fight is the way to go when you have to fight a five round fight so you're not so fucking beat up by the time you get to the fight if you already know how to fight five rounds you've already done it and if you're a guy like connor who's just got so much experience in the game it might be that it's like there's a point of diminishing returns in terms of your strength and conditioning and that guys just go too far push too hard and just don't have it yeah. when it comes to i mean how many times have you seen a fighter be overtrained when they fight very often definitely you know they've, they've given their best rounds in the gym and it's very difficult as well in those last two weeks because anxiety is starting to grow so you want to train harder Right. And you, you want to get one more spar in and you want to, yeah. you know, because the fight's coming. It's, it's almost like when you're back in school and you're cramming for an exam. Mm -hmm. Well, it's the exam's tomorrow. I'm going to stay up all night studying, right. you know, and right. it, it actually got me through college. So <laughs> it works somewhat. But but in fighting, we got to do the, we got to do the opposite. We yeah. got to have it. We got to have a solid taper off period. And that is hard when you're dealing with a 20 something year old man. And he, he's, yeah. he's, he's dealing with what's what's coming around the corner. So. But, you know, that's, uh, that's the trainer's job, you know. How much did he taper off for this fight? Uh, same as usual. We have about a two-week uh, taper-off period where we start bringing it down. Um, he, did, he did actually spar even after that. Um, you know, we're, we were working very hard for this fight in a limit, you know, somewhat limited period of time. Um, so we did, didn't taper off quite the way we would normally do, but roughly two weeks. If you wanted to do a rematch, and if the UFC did grant a rematch, then this is obviously dependent upon how the Nevada State Athletic Commission handles the legal ramifications of him jumping out of the cage, attacking Dylan Dennis, the subsequent brawl, the chaos that ensued, visas. I mean, you're, you're dealing with a lot of legal shit yeah, in this fight yeah. that, that could hold things up. I mean, they held both guys' purses, correct? Uh, well, they held uh, Habib's. Connor got his. Yeah, okay. Connor got his purse paid. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he gets his purse. And Khabib, I mean, who the fuck knows what's going to happen with him? You know, and. Uh, yeah, I, I hope they're, they're lenient on him. And not just so we can get a rematch. I mean, I love watching him fight for a start. Yeah. Um, and I can. I can stretch myself to understand his reaction. Yeah. I can stretch myself to understand. I can't stretch myself to understand the other guys' reactions. I agree. And what, and what they did. Yes. For Habib, he jumped over the cage and he jumps. It's, it's not the end of the who world. Who was the guy that jumped in that was wearing red who, who punched Connor? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I think that's his boxing coach, but I'm, I'm guessing He's here. a fighter. He fights for the UFC. Uh, in the red? Was yeah. that not an old? He yeah. wasn't older? Yeah, no. He actually worked with him. Oh, oh okay. You work with <laughs> there him? There you go. Yeah. Who is he? I don't, I don't know his name. Yeah, I think, I think, it's either Islam or Rustan. Yeah, uh, yeah it was either Islam or Rustan, yeah. I, I, think, I don't think I it was either one no, of those like, guys. Like, I know Islam. It's a different guy. He was, you know, he hit Dylan. Yeah. yeah. And, and a guy in a suit that I heard is his Russian manager. He uh, hit Dylan. Either way. Um, um, there's but, but actually in the cage, when, when your man yeah. went in and, and, and hit him from behind. Uh, yeah. You know, I can't, I can't understand that. Like I said, for, for, for Habib, I didn't think it was, you know, it was... It's just, it's almost. It's, just, it's a, I, such a foolish thing to do because foolish he, thing to do. he'd already won. Yeah. I know that Dylan was talking shit and he was angry, but. Well, he actually didn't say anything because I, I heard a few people saying that. Now, I was standing beside Dylan. I didn't see what he did, but I could hear. So he didn't say anything. Now, when I watched the back, I seen he kind of beckoned him on. Yeah. You know, just stupid end of fight stuff, but it. I didn't think it justified that level of response. Now, maybe there was something else in the lead-up, you know. Probably. Dil Dylan is a bit of a troll online. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, there was probably a bit of a, a build-up of other stuff. But, um, yeah, like I said, it, it wasn't that big a deal to me what Habib did. Yeah. It just really wasn't.